Hi, my name's Steve Gersenny. I'm Vice President of Coach House down here in sunny Southwest Florida. And what we want to do today is show you one of our newer products called the 271XL. But before we get started on that, we like to show our little presentation here. Since we are a factory direct company, we call this our red carpet delivery experience. And what's nice about it is that we are able to bring our customers in, factory direct, give you a factory tour, and your walkthroughs when you leave our company are the best you're gonna find. We spend as much time possible um, we go through the inside, we go through the outside, and before you leave our company, you're going to be very, very familiar with your purchase. Um, so what we're going to do is Sam, our photographer here, is going to help us, and we're going to do a walk around on our 271 XL. Now the 271 XL, what's really nice about this product, it's a derivative of our 272. And once we get down the inside, I'll show you the differences between the 271 and the 272. But to start, we are using the E450 Ford chassis. It has a 14,500 pound gross vehicle weight rating. It has a 22,000 pound combined weight rating, Triton V10 motor, and all the bells and whistles you can get on the chassis. We are a QVM with Ford, which is a quality vehicle manufacturer with Ford, and it's an extensive process we have to go through to maintain that status. Um, what we like about the Ford chassis is they are gas engines. A lot of this industry has flipped over to Mercedes-Benz or Transits, which we have as well, but uh, we like the Fords for many reasons, and one is service. There's about 5,000 servicing garages in the United States, and it helps people to get service on the vehicle. Um, you know, your local garage can take care of you. Your local garage can do oil changes, brake checks, tire checks. It's a very, very simple chassis to, to work on, and a lot of our customers love it. So for that, we've stayed with a, the Ford chassis. We love them. They're great chassis. And this also gives us the ability, Sam, to build a vehicle 26 and 27 feet. Now, again, our bodies are one piece. Not the roof, not the sidewalls. This entire body comes out of these gigantic molds that we have created. And again, being in Southwest Florida, what's nice is we are blessed with the marine industry. I've mentioned that in the past. So we're able to keep these bodies one piece, and that is very, very unique to the industry. We are the only company right now that does that. So they're very, very solid, very, very strong. You don't have to worry about water leaks, squeaks, rattles. Our goal is to keep this vehicle rolling down the road as long as the six wheels and this engine drivetrain want to carry it down the road. We do not cut corners. But what I'm going to do is take you from front to back and we'll show you kind of the features of the 271XL. Power heated mirrors, which are really nice and they're wide extension mirrors. We have an eight foot body. We don't build a 102 inch, it's a regular eight foot body. Mirrors overhang that body, so you have good visibility going down the road, which is nice. They also have these little um, elliptical mirrors on the bottom so that you can really see the side lane of anybody that's coming next to you. Uh, next, we have a real nice two step power step, which is nice. It's operated when the door is opened and closed. The door that we have uh, has a full screen on it. So that if you want to keep the bugs out and enjoy your, uh, you know, your outside picnic table, your outside camping, you can do that very easily by closing this door. Uh, but the door is very solid. You can hear it close. It's a very, very solid door. Lighted grab bars. We've got them in several different strategic locations when you get in and out of the vehicle. These are really, really nice features for people that need a little bit of extra help getting in and out of the vehicle. Um, porch light, so we have porch lights as well. This awning has uh, the LED feature on it, and that's standard with our product. This is a Dometic awning, it's a 10-foot box awning, it's automatic, it's wind-censored, so that if it shakes a few times, it will automatically go back into the coach. Really a nice safety feature. What we like, and I've mentioned this in past videos, is we like our LED lighting strip along the coach side of the vehicle, shining out. Um, a lot of people put them on the trailing edge of the awning. And the disadvantage there is it kind of is your light shade. So once the light comes down, you can't see past it. When it's on the coach, what's nice is you can see beyond the awning and see if there's any, anybody out in your area um, when you're in a campground, dry camping, or wherever you may be. Other features, walking down the side. 
This is our propane fill. We have a recessed 68 pound propane tank on the Ford chassis that is located in between the frame rails. So if you're involved in a side impact collision, they're not gonna get to the propane tank. It's on the inside of the frame rails. Very, very safe location. Uh, but this is how you remote fill and remote access your propane tank. Moving down, we have a propane um, discharge station here. So if you wanna hook up a grill, you can hook up a barbecue grill at your campsite and really a nice feature. Outside storage, a little bit of outside storage here, dual battery slide trays. Now we have chosen, and I don't want to get into a real long dissertation on this, but we have a very good explanation. We've chosen the two six volt lifeline AGM batteries. Uh, these batteries are rated at 220 amp hours. We do not use lithium ion. We will look at lithium ions when one thing happens, and that is when a main manufacturer or a main distributor carries them. Warranty is an issue. Here, we use an interstate, drops them off. Interstate is located throughout the entire country. If you have problems with batteries, you can easily replace them and keep on your way. So lithium ions are not so easy. So I'll kind of leave it at that. This is our preferred method today. In the future, if lithium ions become more mainstream, where a main distributor will handle them, we will certainly look at them. But this is our only standard feature and our only thing that we're doing right now. Coming on down in this coach, your freshwater fill, which you can also fill at your central utility compartment. I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, we have some outside plugs. We have a outside cable connection. So if you want to set a uh, uh, um, television or anything up on the outside of the coach at your campsite, you can do that pretty easily. This is the back side of the refrigerator vent. This model happens to have the Dometic six cubic foot three-way refrigerator in it. This is the lower vent. We chimney it up through the ceiling, up through the roof, and that would be the upper vent. We do that because if you're driving down the road, you're less likely to have any flame outages if, with a vent low and a vent high. If you put both of these vents on the side of the coach, a lot of times what'll happen, you pass a semi truck or something and it'll actually suck that flame out of your, out of your propane side and, and you won't know it's off until your food spoils. Uh, these are automatic, so theoretically they switch from LP to 110 volt to 12 volt, so they are really good. Uh, dual rear wheels on the, on, the, on the backs of all of our vehicles, really a nice feature. We do run the valve extensions out so that you have the ability to fill the inside tire as well as the outside tire. So you're good with tires. Um, furnace, the 30,000 BTU LPG furnace is on board. Um, great furnaces, they run great, keeps the coach nice and toasty warm on the inside. Outside storage. Uh, what we like about our outside storage is we really feel like it's outside storage. We have a complete frame that grows around the circumference of this vehicle before the body's laid on top of it. So all of our storage is underneath that frame. Um, we've got master keys. All of us salespeople have a master keys to get into just about any storage compartment. And I've mentioned this in the past. Our storage goes below the frame. So in the event somebody should break into your outside storage compartment, they're not going to get inside your coach. A lot of people say, oh, I've got an alarm. It's great. It's wonderful. It's not wonderful if you can break in through a storage compartment. And so we like the way our outside storage works. Um, the coach is 27 feet, so by cubic inch size, you have just as much cubic feet or cubic inch storage space as you would in a normal 27-foot motorhome. Now what we're going to do is gonna, we're going to walk around the front side of the coach and continue down the driver's side of the vehicle. Now, what, again, what we use on this particular model is the Ford Econoline E450 chassis. Triton V10 engine, has a six-speed transmission. Fuel economy on this vehicle is going to range, range between 10 and 12 miles a gallon. Uh, but you can run it on regular unleaded fuel, which is nice. And again, the service side of the equation, being able to get these vehicles serviced, is a very important factor with a lot of people. Coach House is kind of claimed to fame as a very aerodynamic coach. Some people refer to these as a Class B plus or a Class C. Um, we consider them either. Um, a lot of people think the B pluses are a very low profile coach. We try to keep the profile exterior as low as possible. So you maximize your fuel efficiency, you not to worry about bridges, you can get them into state parks, things of that nature. What we provide here is a vehicle that's very multi-purpose. 
Most coaches, if you get into buying something bigger than this 27-foot motorhome, are going to be called destination vehicles. And that's where you take your vehicle and you set it up at a campground and you stay there for several weeks. These are more of what we call touring, touring class vehicles, which gives you the ability to get these off-road, get them downtown rural cities, off into the rural roads. We've had customers buy these that have stated they will never touch an interstate because they really want to see the beauty of the country. And this coach, the way it's set up, is really a nice way to go, beautiful vehicle. But with the Forge, you can see the big brawny front end. You got the wide mirrors, so you can see out the side, very low profile, aerodynamically designed, and it is really a wonderful chassis to build a motorhome on. We're on the driver's side of the coach now, Sam, and what we want to point out is, again, how aerodynamically designed the vehicle is, cutting down wind flow, um, it's very, very stable on the road. With a Ford, you get a true eight foot wide track instead of some of the other coaches where you're gonna get less than eight feet track. So our wheels go all the way out to the exterior of the body, which makes them really nice. Another nice feature we have on all of our Fords and a lot of our coaches is these nice wide fiberglass running boards. Um, makes it nice, it's got a light on it so that you can see in the dark and it will automatically go off after uh, 20, 30 seconds. Um, slide outs. I think this is a very, very important part to tell people. Um, in our industry on vehicles this size, a lot of our competitors are into electric slide outs. We do not use electric slide outs. We use HWH hydraulic slide outs. What's nice about the hydraulics is their failure rate is very, very minimal. Um, I always talk to people when I talk, when I talk about a backhoe. It's like a tractor. Tractors are on hydraulics. This is on hydraulics as well. So in theory, these things should last a long time. Uh, we have very little problems with HWH. They are a nationally recognized company. Uh, we also use HWH for the leveling system. So this vehicle has a fully automatic leveling system on board. You walk in, you push a button to turn it on, you push a button again, and four hydraulic jacks will come down to the ground and level your coach. So it is a nice feature. And the hydraulic side of the equation is much more expensive than the electric side. So that is why we've chosen it mainly because of the durability. If you look at a lot of vehicles, they'll have these metal trims here that look like S's. It's an electric, or it's a track, top and bottom. And those are electrically driven. And what happens, I tell people, if you just look at that, it's an aluminum extrusion with a lot of wavy lines in it where the motors grab and gear these slide outs in and out to move these rooms. Well, if you picture yourself at a campground and it rains, maybe you're in a dust storm, maybe it's a combination of both. Once those tracks get full of dirt, there's really no way to clean them. I guess you go out there with a scrub brush and scrub them. But now you're dealing with those motors that are going to be grinding in and out your slide rooms. Here, this is a sealed system. Just the preferred way. You look at any high-end motor homes, they're using hydraulic systems to move rooms and to level their coaches. Also notice that we put awning toppers on our slide rooms. And a lot of people want to know, why do you do that? One of the biggest advantages is it keeps the rain off the top. If you're in a heavily wooded area, trees and debris falling on, on your top of your slider, some of that will make it back. If you didn't have the awning, some of that would make it back inside the coach. So with these, these um, awning toppers that go over our slide rooms, they're very, very efficient in keeping the debris out of the inside and the water out of the inside of your coach. Uh, we have a triple seal system on our slide room so that when it's out, it's sealed, and when it, while it's in, it's sealed. So it's a wonderful system, been proven for years and years and years, and it's something we're very proud of. Some other features we got, Sam, we got some more outside storage up here. Um, again, with a, um, these are all light, light, lighted all the way across. So if you, in all of our storage compartments, so that if you put something on the inside of your outside storage compartment, what happens is you can see your items. 
say it's pitch blackout, we have an LED strip light that goes all the way across here. So if you have something heavy in one side, it's not going to block the light on the other. Kind of a neat feature. Also, all of our outside storage compartments are fiberglass. We do not use aluminum. We don't use plastic. We don't use metal. Uh, these are fiberglass so that they're going to last, again, as long as these six wheels on this coach want to ride down the road. Now, some other features of our locking system and our compartments. If you notice, I turn this lock to lock it, and the door compresses. It's called a compression lock, so that um, it helps seal the out that exterior door to prevent it from leaking. This is where your generator is going to be, um, and we vent that the generator is actually on the inside. It's a 4KW Onan gas engine. Again, with Ford, what's nice is we have a 55-gallon fuel tank, and the 4KW generator pulls off that main tank. It won't leave you high and dry. Um, these generators burn about a half a gallon an hour, so one gallon every two hours. Equate that to, even though we have a 55 gallon tank, it'll leave you with about five gallons reserve so that you're not going to get stranded without fuel. So equate the time. You're going to get a lot of time on even one tank of gas with this generator. And being 4KW, it will operate everything inside the coach. Continuing down the driver's side of the coach, Sam, what we have is we have an outside hot and cold shower, which is nice, and we've just switched within the past year to what we call a smart plug. Again, in Southwest Florida, a lot of our ideas come from the marine industry. They don't come from the RV industry. This smart plug, it's disconnected, it's connected. So there isn't an in-between. A lot of times what we found with the RV plugs is if they are not fully tightened, fully connected, twisted so that they are locked in place, you could develop an arc issue. We don't want to do that. This is called a smart plug, came out of the marine industry, and they really are a smart plug. They work wonderfully well. Uh, a key lock for your fuel tank. This is, again, 55 gallons. And now what I want to show you is the outside, uh, what we call our uh, central utility compartment. That compartment is right here. And basically what we have done in this compartment is try to keep as many of the exterior cutouts from being on the outside of the vehicle. So we're going to have a cable TV connection here, a city water connection. This valve right here, by turning the valve, will fill your fresh water tank. Again, a little courtesy light, so if it's dark out, you can turn on your little courtesy light. And then we have a black water flush. So if you want to flush your black water holding tank, you can flush it with your regular water hose into that black water system. This is a very important device in the way that we have done it, um, in that it has to go through an anti-siphon valve before it goes back down into the black water tank to flush it. So you can feel comfortable using your fresh water hose into your black water flush you got to be careful with certain manufacturers, other manufacturers, because what you can do is contaminate your hose. We prevent it by adding the anti-siphon valve at the top of the flood plane of the vehicle without getting too technical on it, and it prevents any contamination into your water hose. Now, the sewer discharge is something that's really unique, too. Um, we have it in an area that's usable. Um, the cap comes off, you have a gray little pull valve for your gray water tank. Gray water is your shower, your sinks. That runoff goes into one holding tank. Next to it, we have a black water. Black water is strictly your toilet water, your black water. So what, a lot, what we encourage people to do is dump your black water tank first, get all the sewage out of the vehicle, then pull your gray water tank and it helps flush the system. But by having what we call the bayonet fitting on this outside of the vehicle, it's very easy to run to the sewer. A lot of companies will put them up underneath the coach where you're trying to find it up underneath here. Um, they'll use even um, pump outs or mancerators is what they call them. We don't believe in them. This gravity fed works perfect. No troubles, no problems. Mancerators, if they fail, you're in trouble. How are you going to dump your tank unless you have a manual override on it? The only advantage of a mancerator is if you want to pump your sewage uphill. And not too often are people going to be pumping their sewage uphill. So this is tried, true, proven, and we have no problems with it. So one of the things you'll find with Coach House is the fact we don't like problems. We try to do things right. We try to do them um, as best we possibly can to avoid you having to go to service centers. 
Um, a couple other things I want to point out, Sam, is all of our windows are jealousy windows, meaning they open this way, they open out. And what's nice about a jealousy window, especially for our pet owners, is if you are involved, say you go to Disney World or you're out in the park somewhere and it decides to rain and you have pets, leave your windows open. We have rain-censored fantastic root fence inside the coach uh, that will automatically close, but you're still going to get cross ventilation. And that is very important to us. On, the, on another window, um, like a lot of our competitors will use, it's called a T-slider where it slides back and forth this way. Now if it rains, you're gonna, you can see the obvious point is you're going to get water inside the coach. So jealousy windows are a preferred window just because of inclement weather. And also protection. You can't break into this window unless you shatter it. T-slider windows, you could climb in through the window and get in. So we feel it's pretty important. Sam, now we've moved around the back side of the coach, and there's a lot of cool things on the back. You can see the way our bodies are designed. Um, you know, even the recessed part of it, the, the areas that have transitions in them are all part of the mold. Very extensive, time-consuming way to make a motor home, but we feel it's the best way. This is our deluxe paint job, and it's done in what we call our sterling color. It's a new paint color for us, and it's sharp. You've seen some of it as I've walked around the vehicle. But to point out some other things on the back side, we've got LED lights throughout the top. Uh, we've got a rear view camera that is standard. All this is standard equipment. Um, our sewer hose carrier is kind of an old fashioned way to do it, but it goes into the bumper. So you have the full length of your bumper for an extensively long sewer hose if you so choose. Um, all of our Ford products come with a seven way connector now. It also has an electric brake controller on the inside. So if you tow any vehicle or any trailer that requires electric brakes, you have it covered. Now a lot of people want to know what they can tow with our vehicles. And without getting too specific, this is a bulletproof hitch. We've had them static tested to 14,000 pounds. But without getting too technical about it, you can do a combined weight, according to Ford, of 22,000 pounds. So depending on what this vehicle weighs, you put all your stuff in it, da 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 and your trailer should not exceed 22,000 pounds. So it's a beefy chassis, it's got a lot of capability, and it's why we've chosen it. I've mentioned a lot of nice features on the Ford, and it's part of the reason why we've chosen this. Now what we want to do is I want to take you on the inside and show you what a 271XL looks like. All right, Sam, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Yes, I'm ready for this. All uh, right, I got to get you in here and show you this thing. It's absolutely beautiful. Come on in. All right, Sam, now you got to admit I wasn't kidding. This coach is absolutely beautiful. We've taken another step in hiring a boat interior designer, again from the marine side, southwest Florida, etc., to do our interiors for us. This coach is done in our new teak. And if you notice, we're offering now what they call shaker style doors. Um, all of our plywood that's underneath here is laminated with a laminate. And what's nice about it, the laminate doesn't fade, the laminate does not hold cooking odors, it helps seal the wood. But beyond that, the wood that we're using as what they call the substrate is a carb 2 rated plywood for formaldehyde content. It's something we're very concerned about. If you walk into a coach house, you're not going to feel your throat clog up. You're not going to feel your eyes watering because it's something that we really take to heart when it comes to building these motorhomes. So I want to stress that. Walk into any RV in the hot sun, close it up, and see if your eyes and throat water. If it is, it's formaldehyde. Walk in a coach house and see if it does it, and I don't think you're going to get it to happen. Now let's point some features out. Again, Ford E450 chassis. We've chosen to load them up with every feature available from Ford. You've got some components on the steering wheel. You've got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt steering wheel, trailer tow haul package, six-speed transmission, air conditioning. Um, we also go with these Garmin radios now that are nice. Um, it's built by Fusion. And that faceplate will actually is removable. Sam, watch. Check this out. Look at that. You can use it as a tablet. So it's really kind of a cool thing that a lot of people have really enjoyed um, on, a, on our radio systems. So again, very beautifully designed, uh, nice cockpit. 
Um, very ergodynamically designed. You've got airbags inside, etc. Very, very nice. Now getting into the coach a little bit, we've even put our TVs and our Fords now over here on the side. And what's nice about these TVs is that they are flexible enough to be moved around. So let's say you want to sit at your dinette and see your TV. Very easy to do. It's on a swing arm. And um, so really a nice feature of the coach house is being able to locate these TVs kind of where you want them. Now let's walk down. This particular model has a dinette in it. All Corian topped, all screen windows. You've got your um, MCD shades or day night shades, which are really, really nice. Um, this Cory on top slides underneath here, and now we've taken these seats, which are metal reinforced. I'm going to show you half of it. There's a half a bed, and the other half will do the same thing. So this is our dinette. And I want to show you a little bit later, as after we're through in here, our, our possibilities in our slide rooms, which I think is really a super cool feature. Uh, but this is the dinette. This coach is sold. It's the way the customer ordered it. And uh, so we're pretty excited about it. It's something we've been doing for a long time. We're going to continue on back. And again, this setup, very similar to the 272. The only difference is we've put twin beds in here versus a queen. And our twin beds can be converted to a king, which I'll show you later. But you've got a nice full-size mirror here. This side, driver's side, is going to be your bathroom. Sam, check this out. When we open this, we can actually drop a little foot on the floor. And we've got two coach privacy. You've got a back and a front. Here's your bathroom. Um, here's your shower, nice big shower stall. You can stand up in it. It's got a wand to help you rinse yourself off, a little foot ledge for shaving your legs, nice sink, little storage underneath the sink. Again, all fiberglass. If you get anything wet in this coach, you don't have to worry about it. Nice porcelain toilet. Um, really a cool motorhome. Continuing back, Sam, we've got two shirt closets, one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. A uh, nice place to hang your, your, your clothes um, on both sides of the bed area. We've got storage all the way around the back, plus two pull-out drawer storage on, underneath the beds. So we have a lot of nice storage back here in the bedroom area, which is nice. Why don't we switch sides, Sam, and that way you can get a shot from the, of the twin beds and we'll walk through the front. Now in the back area here, Sam, as I mentioned, we've got two big full-length beds. These beds are 74 inches on one side and 78 inches on the other. Big full-size twin beds. And this coach does have the ability to make one big king-size bed back here if you so choose. But again, the storage. I wanted to make sure that we pointed out the storage that we saw it. Look at the storage back here. We've got storage underneath the the nightstand as well, which is nice. We've got storage all the way around in these uppers. And one beautiful thing about Coach House is this is, again, a marine, um, a marine application. If you open our doors, you're going to see beautiful recessed European hinges. We use several different brands. We have a metal door stay that will help this door stay open. And we also have a posi catch lock. So when we close our doors, we push that button, there's a pin that shoots down into the cabinet. And now you don't have to worry about any of your things rolling out or falling out while you're traveling down the road. All of our cabinet doors have locks on them. Very, very cool design. Again, storage, storage. This is something that's really cool too. Our customers love it. This is a really nice hand-built pantry. Um, it's not a wire shelf. Um, it's a nice full wooden pantry and what's nice about this you don't have to worry about opening your pantry and seeing all your stuff falling everywhere. We have lips on them, your, your, your soups, your canned goods, all the things that you want to put in here are going to stay put when they're in. And we have found this pantry to be a great big selling point for us. Um, keep on moving. We've got on this coach here what we're using is uh, for our hot water heater. I wanted to point out this switch here. We use an engine assist electric hot water heater in the Ford chassis. Maintenance-free stuff. You don't have to worry about it. You're driving down the road, your engine's heating your hot water. When you stop, you can continue using your engine as heat, flip a switch here, use electric heat. Really a cool hot water heater. Six gallons. It'll stay hot for pretty much overnight. You don't have to worry about it being um, overheated or underheated. We have a remote panel here for our Firefly system, which I did not point out. We've got several of these. These are all wireless panels. They can be located anywhere in the coach. Uh, but we are using the Multiplex Firefly system and all of our electrical 
uh, devices on the coach, which makes it nice. Talked about the Dometic refrigerator. Uh, this is from the outside. This is a six cubic foot refrigerator. It has a freezer on top and the refrigerator below. So it's a nice size refrigerator. And the reason we've chosen this refrigerator is it is three-way. It's an AC, DC, LP gas refrigerator. Um, if you go ref any bigger size Dometic refrigerator than this, what you're going to find is it drops to two-way. You're going to get LP gas, 110 volt. We like the three-ways with the DC current involved because if you're driving down the road, you can just push the button, put it on DC, and you're good to go, which makes it nice. Um, it's automatic, so it'll find the, the greatest source to cool with. Uh, moving forward, we use the high point. These are convection microwaves. Um, in our last rally, we did some really cool uh, cooking classes with these. Uh, these are ovens. You can treat them like an oven. You can treat them like a microwave. People are becoming more and more aware of convection and convection, co convection cooking and how much quicker it is to cook with them. So people are really liking these convection ovens. Um, nice feature here. Again, marine side, we actually have a flip-up three-burner um, stovetop here. Nice big storage underneath for your pots and pans, whatever you want to put in there. Really a nice, nice size opening for, for any big bulky items. But when you close this, everything becomes nice and flat. Um, moving forward, again, storage, a little tip-out drawer for sponges, things of that. Got some nice big pull-out drawers here and here. Uh, all these are drawers, big storage compartment here. Um, so again, we have a lot of storage in this particular unit. Showing you the sink, look at the size of that stainless steel sink. You could put your little dog in there and wash them if you wanted to. And this is a Dawn product, very, very high-end uh, stainless steel sinks. We like the stainless steel over the ceramic. Our goal as a manufacturer has always been to build the strongest vehicles possible as light as we possibly can. That's been our philosophy. We don't want you to have trouble on the road. We want you to enjoy yourself. So we build a very, very, very solid coach. Now, this is something I want to point out. New for us, we introduced a couple years ago, is what we call our galley extension in this product. And it is optional. This customer ordered, but the galley extends from about here forward. Um, the other option, which I'm going to show you, is a swivel seat that can go in this spot. So a lot of people like the extended galley because it obviously gives you a lot more room to cook on, to, to prep on, to, to work, more workspace. It's a really nice option. Um, so we do offer both ways. We have the swivel seat, and I'll show you that option in a minute, or that standard feature in a minute. This is optional. And, um, and I want to show you a couple other things that we do as well. But it kind of covers some of what we've done. Um, fantastic roof fence I mentioned earlier. There's going to be one in the back. There's going to be one in the front. Uh, all controlled again by our multiplex wiring system. 15,000 BTU um, air conditioning system with a heat strip or heat pump built into it. Not a heat strip, a heat pump and a 30,000 BTU LPG furnace. All LED lighting. Um, we've also added a lot of courtesy lighting, um, uh, indirect lighting behind all the valances. So you can really set the mood in this vehicle. They're all dimmable. Uh, even the awning light on the outside, that long strip lighting, everything is dimmable so that you can really set the mood. Now, Sam, I want to point out something. I've already spent some time on it. We have another video on how to use the Firefly system. But I want you to just focus over here real quick on this side piece right here. Um, what this is, is called a uh, multiplex wiring system by Firefly. And it really is a cool device in that you can control your entire motorhome off this panel here, several remote panels in the coach, as well as your, your, your phone. Whether you be an Android or a iPhone user, uh, this has an app and you can control your entire vehicle off this. It's really nice because you can control your HVAC system. This has auto gen start ability on the board, which it does have. All of your lights, um, your HVAC stuff, your two fantastic roof vents. Really a cool, cool device to centralize RV electrical. We have found throughout the years of building an RV that, you know, you got switches here, switches there. You try to make them convenient. Well, it's convenient for one, not convenient for the other. But in this particular case, we have found that the Firefly system has really met 
and exceeded our expectations. Coach House has a very, very firm belief in technology. And what we like to do is let the industry be here with technology and we're gonna stay about here. We are gonna follow it, we're not gonna lead it. One of the things that we pride ourselves on is warranty. Our warranty is probably among the lowest in the industry. I tell people probably the weakest point that we have in our vehicle is appliances. But if you've noticed some of the terminology I've used throughout this presentation, Dometic, Thetford, um, Magnatech power converter, um, Dometic awning, Dometic air conditioner, all of these appliances are recognized nationally. So if you have a problem out in the field, they're easily serviceable. Chances are they've got that refrigerator, if they're a Dometic dealer, they've got that in stock. Uh, the high point microwave convection, chances are they've got them in stock. So what it does, it cuts your downtime. If you should happen to have any problems on the road, it cuts them down exponentially. Um, we build a coach that is solid enough to handle this chassis and you're driving as long as you want to drive it. We've traded them in 150,000 miles, 175,000 miles, and the box, as one of our customers called it, referring to the conversion, absolutely perfect. Did he have to replace things? Yes. Air condition, refrigerator, yes, in that length of time. But you got to think of it as your home as well. Um, how often do you place your air conditioner in your home? I know in Florida, quite often, probably every 10 years, you're replacing it eight years, but now you're taking a home and running it down the road. So we try to do the best ability we possibly can in building and also try to buy the best appliances we can get our fingers on for service. And that is a very, very important point I wanted to mention. Another thing people don't quite understand, we are built here in the USA. We are a family run business. We're gonna take care of you. If you look on any blogs, forums, anything about our products, I don't think you're gonna find anybody saying anything bad about us. We're a good company. We stand behind what we do and um, do some research before you make that ultimate purchase and see what we're talking about. Before we end this video, um, I wanted to show a couple options, as I mentioned. So we're gonna go into another unit, and then we're gonna take some still shots on some other options that are available in the slide. Now, Sam, what we've come into is a little bit different configuration on our 271, but we wanna point out the differences. This is done in our cherry wood. Um, again, flat panel. We have the option on our cherry and our maple to go flat panel or raised panel doors. Again, shaker style, looks real nice. See the valances are really beautiful the way we've designed them. But this is our standard galley. Again, you still have a three burner stove, just like we had in the last unit. Um, again, held up by a little spring latch here. You got a nice area to work with. You've got large storage underneath as well. Same setup as we had before. Nice, beautiful stainless steel sink. Uh, but what we've done is the galley ends here and we add a swivel chair. Now what's nice about this swivel chair, it's a recliner. So if I sit here and turn around and I wanna watch some TV or something, I sit here and just push the button and I've got a nice reclining chair. It's more of a foot rest than it is recline, but a lot of people like this, if you have guests, you have the extra chair. So we offer our coaches in two separate versions, the extended galley that we showed before or this chair that I'm sitting in now. So it really is a, a customer preference uh, I don't think one outsells the other. Um, some people like the galley space. Some people like the third seating. So uh, for that matter, it's uh, one option that we offer, and I thought we'd show it to you. Sam, we talked a little bit earlier about our different options in our slide rooms. On any of our vehicles, whether it be Ford, Mercedes, anything that has a front slide out in it, we provide three options to the customer. I showed you a dinette, but I want to walk through each three. Uh, this is a power sofa. What's nice about our power sofas is we designed them to go forward first and then lay down. So by going forward first, we've been able to add 12 inches behind the sofa for sleeping accommodations. So if you have a twin bed or you have a queen size bed, this gives you another full size sleeping arrangement inside the coach, which is kind of a nice feature for a lot of people. Grandkids, another couple, you know, whatever that use may be. Now the next one that we have here, is what I showed earlier, is the dinette. And the dinette has a Corian tabletop 
and these are able to be laid down. They're all steel reinforced seats. Uh, these lay down and uh, form another single bed up front. Table comes out, table slides underneath in between these bunks so it's out of the way and then conforms itself into another single bed. So another option that we offer. Now the last option that we have is what we call our power recliners. This is residential furniture and what's nice about it is you have two lagoon tabletops, Corian as well, and by pushing a button you have two full recliners and these do fully recline. Uh, we've built custom coaches for customers where this is all they want is the recliners in them. So it really is a nice feature. I know we've shown these in other videos, but I want to make it real clear to people that you have your choice of three different options inside these front slide rooms. These tables are removable. You can slide them up and down. They swivel. Really a nice feature. We've noticed, and this again came from the marine side, and we're noticing a lot more manufacturers using them. But it is a nice setup. It's got a center uh, area here for more, maybe a remote control storage, things like that, which is nice. But um, it kind of gives you kind of gives you a feel for what we do in our slide rooms. Again, we have three different distinct options in those slide rooms. Any one of these options here will fit inside a front slide out. So again, we appreciate you watching these videos. We appreciate your input. Um, we hope to have you as a customer one day. Call us, talk to one of our sales professionals. This is all we do is sell Coach House products. We sell them factory direct. We're very knowledgeable on what we do, we feel. And um, our goal has always been to build the very best motorhomes that are out there. So thank you for your time.